Hello and a very warm welcome to Sora Sir's classes. Today's tutorial will be on accountancy. In case of any query, you can contact us on this number. And if you wish to know more about us, you can check in our website. Today we will be dealing with this question. The question provides us information with regard to figures of different particulars at the beginning of the year and at the end of the year okay now given this information they have asked us to formulate the accounting equation and calculate profit or loss now let us do a little bit of recapitulation now we know that there is a accounting equation based on duality concept okay which explains that at any point of the time the assets of any business enterprise are equal in monetary term to its equities both internal and external okay so if i'll denote the internal equities if i denote the internal equities as equity and external equities as as liabilities then the above accounting equation can be rewritten as this equity plus liabilities or we can rewrite this as equity is equal to assets less liabilities now using this form of this particular accounting equation we will tackle the above problem given to us okay so we will calculate the value of equity at the beginning of the year and at the end of the year so let us do it so what we need to do first we will add all the assets so let us check what are the assets given to us so the assets are plant and machinery first we will do it in the beginning of the year then we have building then we have stock trade debtors cash and bank and the liability is bank loan and trade creditors so let us do this so amount of equity in the beginning of the year is so plant and machinery this is 90000 so first i'm adding all the assets then i'll deduct the liability building stock trade debtors cash and bank so this is 1 lakh next figure is 50000 40000 20000 if you add this the total will be 3 lakh rupees okay now from this you need to less bank loan and trade creditor okay now bank loan is 60 and trade creditor is 70 so you less 1 lakh 30000 and this will be 17 doubles 170000 okay so it is 
one lakh seventy thousand and say this is E naught that is equity in the beginning of the month, beginning of the year. Now we will calculate for the at the end of the year. So amount of equity at the end of the year. So let us calculate this first is plant and machinery building stock so I'm adding all this so you have plant and machinery building plus stock trade debtors plus cash and bank so if you add all these items you will get a figure of three lakh ten thousand you less you need to do that means which are liabilities this is the asset is bank loan plus trade creditor plus expenses which are due and if you will add all these items you will get one lakh ten thousand so this is asset this is liability so equity or e1 will be two lakh rupees now we will find out whether e1 is greater than we will find out this figure if this figure is in plus then it's a profit so we see this is 2 lakhs this is 2 lakhs this is 1 lakh 70 thousand so it is definitely a positive figure which is 30 thousand so there is a profit okay and this is nothing but the equity at the end of the year and this is equity in the beginning of the year so I hope this short tutorial on accountancy was helpful if it was then please hit the like button subscribe to our channel share our videos and thank you so much for watching